Also tonight, police in Aurora searching for a serial robber. They say he's targeting members of the Hispanic community and preying on mostly Spanish speaking victims in the area of Chambers and Alameda. And they posted this video of the suspect today. You see him walking right here. It's a little bit difficult to see, but Fox 31's Aaliyah Sims has been looking into these cases today and she joins us live outside the Aurora Police Department tonight. And Aaliyah, please tell you that this has been going on for months since August. And in that time, at least a dozen victims have come forward. Now, I tried speaking to people living in that area today. As you can imagine, many of them were hesitant about talking with me. Now, I did speak to one neighbor who tells me her community is very aware about this situation. So much, in fact, someone in her apartment complex made and hung up flyers alerting neighbors to be vigilant so they don't fall victim to these armed robberies. The search is on for this man seen in this surveillance video. Investigators say for weeks, this suspect described as a black man in his mid 20s, dressed in all black and sometimes seen wearing a ski mask, has been using a handgun to threaten Hispanic neighbors. The suspect is contacting victims as they uh, park their cars or are coming into their apartments late in the evening or early in the morning hours. An Aurora police spokesperson sharing these times and locations of the reported robberies. And Investigators say luckily, none of the victims in the 12 reported cases were seriously injured, but officers worry the suspect is becoming more violent. It is concerning that the incident on October 6th involved gunfire. It's obviously an escalation. As part of their response, officers have increased patrols in the area while also providing neighborhood education about what's happening. We do believe he lives in or around that neighborhood. So we think that there may be people who live in that neighborhood that know something. Investigators say, although concerning, the crime is pretty common, especially in immigrant communities, because like I said, there there may be barriers to reporting where maybe they don't speak the language or they're not sure about how law enforcement is going to react. And even with more of a police presence, officers are asking people to be vigilant and aware of their surroundings. If someone demands your items, don't resist, give those up. Um, your safety is much more important than any wallet or cell phone. And police here say there is a possibility that there are more victims who may not have reported the crime. They really encourage anyone with any information to come forward, no matter how insignificant you may feel that it is, because they say it may be the key to unlocking this case. Now, if you have any information about this investigation, you are urged to give Metro Denver Crime Stoppers a call. Reporting live here in Aurora, Aaliyah Sims, Fox 31. All right, Aaliyah, thank you for